This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 558, The Lost Art of Business Communication, and Expand Your Dashboard, both by Dr. Jeff Cornwall of drjeffcornwall.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host here, and uh, I'm here every single day reading to you to help you optimize your business life. Now today I have two great posts, both from Dr. Jeff Cornwall, who I'm gonna tell you more about after the readings. So for now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. The Lost Art of Business Communication by Dr. Jeff Cornwall of drjeffcornwall.com. We used to teach courses in business writing in business school. Students learned how to construct effective business letters and memorandums. Over the past decades, those courses faded away as formal requirements in most business schools. Business schools opted to integrate writing requirements into various courses in their curricula. Students now graduate with experience in writing business case study analysis and research papers but get little to no instruction on how to construct formal business communications. Emails show the result. I see the outcomes of the lack of training in business communication in emails that I receive from students. Most students use a highly informal communication style in their emails. It starts with the salutation. Hey, professor, or my least favorite, hey, Jeff, are common salutations in emails I receive from students. Although this might be fine in an informal text message, Email has become the new medium for business communication. Therefore, it needs a higher standard of formality and writing style. From there, the content of the email then proceeds to go downhill. The text of the messages are full of poor grammar and language that sounds like it's pulled from a hastily constructed personal text message sent to one of their friends. From what I hear from employers and investors, students carry this informal, unprofessional style of writing with them into their careers after college. I frequently hear from people in the business community about students and alumni of mine who send emails that are so long and rambling that they give up trying to understand the purpose of the communication. They complain about emails full of typos, muddled messages, and poor grammar. David Cohen, an investor and founder of Techstars, wrote in a blog post that he commonly receives emails sent en masse to a large group of investors, many of whom he knows personally. At best, this shows a lack of respect for the recipients. At worst, it makes the sender look just plain lazy. In a follow-up post, Cohen highlights what he calls the perfect email. The sender is clear about the purpose of the email. The sender takes the time to personalize the email to the recipient. The email is well-written with a clear and concise message. Creating effective emails. If a student graduates and gets a corporate job, they will quickly get trained in effective business communication. However, these employers do wonder why it is left up to them to teach this skill. For those pursuing a purely entrepreneurial career path, they're on their own to develop effective business communication skills. There are plenty of good resources out there. By all means, find someone to proofread your important emails. If you are working in a co-working space, find a group of fellow entrepreneurs who are willing and able to review each other's communications to help everyone get better. Effective business communication, like any skill, takes learning and practice. And I've got another post coming up for you in just a sec. But first, fortune favors the bold, the strong, the brave. For your business to break out of anything holding you back, you need business checking as brave as you are. Introducing Novo Business Checking. Novo is powerfully simple business checking. And unlike the traditional banking model, Novo has no minimum balances, no transaction limits, and no hidden fees. Instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, Novo is customized to your business to save you time and free up cash flow with seamless integrations to Stripe, Shopify, QuickBooks Online, and more. Sign up for Novo for free and join the community of over 150,000 fearless small businesses who found the customizable business checking solution that admires their bravery. Sign up for your free business checking account right now at novo.co slash startup. Plus, Optimal Startup Daily listeners get access to over $5,000 in perks and discounts. Go to novo.co slash startup to sign up for free. novo.co slash startup. Novo Platform Inc. is a fintech, not a bank. Banking services provided by Middlesex Federal Savings FA. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Expand your dashboard by Dr. Jeff Cornwall of drjeffcornwall.com. A financial dashboard is an important tool for business entrepreneurs. 
The dashboard provides a quick overview of critical metrics that summarize the health of a business. Standard ratios derived from financial statements serve as the foundation of most dashboards. However, relying only on financial statement data means the entrepreneur is managing the business using numbers based on past performance. Lessons from a parking lot. Many years ago, an entrepreneurship professor shared an exercise he used with students to teach them the limitations of relying only on historic data in their financial dashboards. He would have his students meet him in a commuter parking lot on campus on a Saturday morning when the lot was empty. When they arrived, there was their professor standing next to an old car. The professor set up a simple course for students to drive using orange cones. When the first student got into the car, he realized that the professor had blacked out the front windshield and side windows. He was told he must drive the assigned course going forward. But I can't see where I'm going. You can only use your rear view mirror, said the professor. The result was hilarious. Student after student careened through the parking lot, driving over cones along their path. Most thought their professor had gone mad, Eventually, one of the students would understand the point of the lesson. This has to do with financial dashboards, doesn't it? We don't know where we're going because we can only see where we've been. Lesson learned. Finding ways to see where the business is headed. Although I've never actually used this exercise with entrepreneurs I work with, I do often share this story. I challenge entrepreneurs to find ways to, quote unquote, tear away the black paper so they can see the road ahead for their businesses. I give them an example from our healthcare business. We monitored various metrics related to inquiries and referrals, which proved to be good predictors of future revenues and helped us time the hiring of new staff more effectively. My rule of thumb is that no more than half of the metrics on a financial dashboard should come from historic financial statement data. The rest should be specific numbers for the business that indicate where it is headed. You just listened to the posts titled The Lost Art of Business Communication and Expand Your Dashboard, both by Dr. Jeff Cornwall of drjeffcornwall.com. And thank you to Dr. Jeff. He has spent more than 40 years as a serial entrepreneur and teacher of entrepreneurs. In the 1970s, he started several small businesses and was involved in various family ventures. In the late 1980s, following several years in academics, Dr. Cornwall co-founded Atlantic Behavioral Health Systems in Raleigh, North Carolina, and spent nearly a decade leading the company as president and CEO. After growing to more than 300 employees, he and his partners sold most of their healthcare holdings. After the sale, Dr. Cornwall decided it was time to return to the classroom to share his experience and knowledge with aspiring entrepreneurs. He remains active as an entrepreneur with the digital content venture that he founded in 2014, Entrepreneurial Mind, LLC. So again, thanks to Dr. Jeff, and you can come by drjeffcornwall.com for a lot more. But that's it for another edition of Optimal Startup Daily. Hope you enjoyed the two posts today. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll be back again with you tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.